The Palestinian war of the Israeli aggression has now surpassed 365 days. The state of Palestine has stated that the United States has refused to halt its continued military aid to Israel, despite the advisory opinion of the International Court of Justice and a general assembly resolution calling for an end to the transfer of arms, ammunition, and related equipment to Israel. On September 26, Israeli announced it has secured an $8.7 billion aid package from the United States to support its ongoing military efforts and maintaining its military edge in the region. Reports indicate that over 100,000 metric tons of food supplies are stranded outside Gaza due to access restriction, insecurity, damaged roads, and a breakdown of law and order attributed to Israeli's military operations in the area. As of September 16, 38 Palestinians, the majority of whom are children, have died from malnutrition, dehydration in hospitals. The World Health Organization estimates that more than 2,500 people have been injured and as of July 23rd, about 2,024 individuals have sustained life-changing injuries. Abdullah Abushawesh, the Palestinian ambassador to Nigeria, however condemned certain media information regarding the Israeli-occupied Palestinian territories during a press briefing in Abuja, asserting that many of the reports lack objective conclusions. UNICEF report reported that thousands of children have lost one or two limbs within the first three months of the hostilities. In Gaza, over one million people did not receive food ration in August and September. The number claimed to more than 1.4 million. Meanwhile, over 100,000 metric ton of food supplies are stranded outside Gaza through to the access restrictions, insecurity, damaged road, and breakdown of law and order. Again and again, hunger is spreading in Gaza. It is internally mad-made. Nearly 70% of corpse field have been destroyed. An entire population is forced to ex exclusively rely on humanitarian aid. Ironically, Israel the Baria state that was included in the United Nations list of shame for countries committing grave violation against children. The state that uses starvation as method of war and weaponized water crisis among other long list of war crimes. Um, every one of you since the first ever day that I came to Nigeria and start discussing this issue or start talking about our political situation and the question of Palestine, I used to say every one of you, especially in the media sector, can be a game changer. Yes, discussion, we need to discuss, we need to talk, we need to put an end to this atrocity, we need to do so. There is two methods of work or two methods of, uh, of moving forward. The Israeli method, which is say, what is not coming by power, pay more power, it will work. Our method of work is the negotiation table and the discussion. Yes, we are believing on discussion. Also, in, why in Nigeria or in Africa continent? Because there is a lot of misinformation around the world. While we start discussing this issue, this, and uh, um, exploring ourselves as a Palestinian, uh, telling our story, this means that we are on the right side to tell our, not only our story, but to correct a lot of misinformation that, or, uh, that, um, 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 that you're gonna find it uh, already spread long time ago among the people in uh, uh, worldwide. So that, yes, discussion is very important. Discussion means that to raise, in, uh, to raise awareness all over the world. And when we discuss more, when we raise the, uh, this awareness among the people, this means that everyone will be a game changer and can be a game changer.